look at the squad and I guess this video is gonna be a, a few tips and tricks for um, you guys if you're gonna try to manage a lower league club so the most important thing about managing a lower league club is money 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 um, let's take a look at our finances right now we currently have about eight thousand dollars in the bank um, our payroll budget is 5k we are spending about 4k per week so our balance has enough to cover about two weeks of our payroll and that's not very good um, we don't want to end up in the red we are currently not in the red and we want to keep it that way so things we can do um, I would look at our staff just to make sure we don't have any duplicate coaches um, which this squad does not I was kinda hoping I was kind of hoping for a, you know, two goalkeeping coaches or something like that so I could just get rid of one and cut wages that way. But unfortunately, it looks like we're kind of locked into the squad that we have set right now, or the staff that we have set right now. So now we're going to look at our squad. Um, and the first thing I really noticed here is that we had two goalkeepers. We don't really need two goalkeepers because... Well, I mean, we only need one. And I have, I believe I have both of them transfer listed. No, I don't. Okay. So I transfer listed this guy. He is the better of my two goalies. But here's the thing. He's making $190 per week. He's making $8 per week. Much, much cheaper. And I'm going to compare him with my other goalie. And we're going to highlight the key attributes of defending and yeah see he's better I would say because of you know composure is pretty important concentrations even but the decisions um, that's a big one positioning he has a three-point advantage there although he has better aerial ability command of area is also a big one so Jamie Butler is clearly clearly a better goalie than Ollie Bowles but is he better enough to warrant this huge pay increase when we are going to be strapped for cash I don't think so I I think I'll take take my chances with the eight dollar per week guy um yeah so what I'm gonna do yeah I have him transfer listed everyone else on the first squad you know looks okay for now um throughout the preseason I'm probably gonna scout around and try to I'm gonna add a current ability um you can't really go by this too greatly especially in these lower leagues because your scouts aren't very accurate so you kinda have to go look at the stats but you know this guy isn't he's playing out of contract he's playing for free but if our team starts to struggle I'm gonna look for people to bring in to replace him um and stuff like that just to make my squad stronger now I'm gonna keep everyone on my senior squad for now now let's look like at our U21 squad I don't really need any of these people I don't I don't need them <laughs> so ooh this guy's wanted by clubs and he's out of contract can I yeah I'm gonna transfer list him Actually, I'd have to sign him. Never mind. I'd have to sign him for a contract to get anything. But anyway, um, yeah. So I don't. A couple of these guys, yeah, it kind of sucks to let them go. Like, this guy's decent. He would probably play kind of well, but I don't use a lot of outside midfielders in my tactics anyway. And a hundred ninety dollars per week is quite a bit of money for someone who's not even on my first team. So he's someone I want to get rid of this guy like yeah I have all these guys transfers listed all the ones that aren't playing out of contract and yeah it's not that these players are bad it's just I can't afford to pay this guy two hundred and thirty dollars per week like I can't I can't do it <laughs> you know what I mean so I'm trying and any um, transfer revenue I can gain would be huge as well would be very very good if I could get some transfer income there um, 
so that that was pretty much my idea or that's yeah that's kind of my ideas going for that um i want to keep as few players as i can um hopefully we can avoid a lot of injuries see this guy it'd be really good to get this guy back he's very uh, solid he'd be a good team captain his mental attributes are very good positioning is very good um it's going to be great to get this guy back but he's injured for three to four months so hopefully we can avoid injuries but if we do run into injury troubles we could always um try to get someone off of free other things to do with these great out players kind of look through their stats and see if you can find anyone who can be useful um the one that i found that could possibly be something is this guy he has good flair um, his physical stats aren't that good but he's only 17 so we could work on that um, his strength is one that's a concern but if we have him as a striker and attacking mid that's not completely crucial but so flair he has good determination good creativity his passing kinda sucks I've been thinking about offering him a contract but and just try, kind of training him into something that I can use for my squad. He'd be a good sort of supporting striker with the good flair and the creativity. Um, to the flair and the creativity can help him get the ball forward and uh, make good passes. I mean, yeah, these stats are shit, but everyone, a lot of these lower league players are shit. But I'm probably not going to end up offering him a contract. But yeah, just go through and see if there's anyone somehow that's really good. See this guy, 17 natural fitness. His jumping is good. His balance is good. He'd be a pretty good ball. He sets. He'd be a decent ball winning mid midfielder. Um, I would think. Oh, his strength sucks. I didn't see that. But his other stats, I mean, they're okay. His marking is bad. His positioning is very bad, but, you know, teamwork, work great, his determination, bravery of one, okay, uh, this guy's bad, never mind. But, yeah, you know, just look through these guys and make sure that there's no one worth giving a shot on the first team. Um, the tactics I'm going to use, I like running a 4-3-3, especially in these lower leagues, because basically we want to get our best strikers the ball forward and get them as many shots as possible. So I want them to play fast. I want lots of goals scored. Our defense is probably going to be bad, but you know what? That's okay. Also, if you play a more exciting style of soccer, or football, I should say, so I'll, I know most of my viewers aren't going to be American, so I'll try to use the word football more often. Um, if you use a more exciting style of football, you know, you're scoring more goals and whatnot, you will draw more... Um, you'll draw higher attendances in your crowds, and that will give you higher match receipts, and that will help us make money. Uh, there's a couple other things that we can do to help us make money on match day. Uh, we could try to sign a high-profile player from like a that's played on the national squad of like a smaller country. That really isn't that good, but you know he'd be a higher-profile player just because he's played internationally. You know, stuff like that can help draw crowds to your stadium and give you more money. Um, another thing we can do is we can check our clauses and it looks like we don't have any. We have no clauses to display which kinda sucks. Um, some clubs will have you know outstanding clauses that you can sell for a decent chunk of change especially for these lower league clubs but unfortunately we don't have that option. So uh, yeah um, that's about all I have for this video. Um, I think I'm going to mess around in the preseason, kind of try to fiddle with tactics, see what works best with my squad, and look for loan. Players I can get on loan, that's also very important. If you can get players that can come and help your first team on loan and not pay them for that, that is huge. So that's something I'm going to be looking to do. Um, it'll probably be difficult because who wants to come play in the Skrill South for like the worst team on the Skrill South but hopefully I can convince some, some better players to come some uh, players that are on the reserve squads in better leagues to come help us out 
So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. And I'm going to be pumping out quite a few uh, Football Manager videos throughout the beta as much as I can. And of course, the your beta saves will carry over on into the full game. So that's really nice. So I don't have to start over all these saves when the actual game comes out. Um, another thing, just really quick. I guess my next video will kind of get my impressions of the game um, as compared to Football Manager 2013 because this is the first time that I've run the game and I haven't really gotten to mess around with all the new settings. Uh, the layouts are a little different but nothing too different right now. The I think the biggest difference between 2014 and 2013 is the 3D match rendering and this is something I'm actually really excited about because the matches 